Hello guys, welcome back. It's Aaron again with another video. I was gonna say project. Well, 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 finally. I got the chance to make this small video about my small collection. I barely got 16 person boots in, I believe, two and a half years. Well, something's better than nothing, right? Hope you guys like the video. Now let's get to it. Mi banda, mi banda, pues. Por fin, ahí los que me han estado viendo algún videito. Ahí están las botas que tengo. Los vamos a mostrar en un video de voladita. Sale. Espero que les guste y vámonos, Ricky. All right, guys. We're gonna do sets of four pairs because uh, this table is small, and even if I wanted to use a bigger table, I wouldn't be able to put them all. I kind of need like a those uh, huge tables, and I don't have one. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to show you first the mock toes I have. This is the first pair of Redwing boots. I got when I decided to buy my first pair of boots. Oh my goodness. Why? Why? <laughs> you guys know what I mean, right? Anyway, here we have the 8138s. Here we have the, I even forget the numbers. 10875s. I recently got this. 8828. And one of my favorite pairs, the 8883 Concrete Rough and Tough. This is Alpine Polish Leather. This is, man, I forgot, but this is Briar Oil Sleek. And my favorite Moto Boot, this one, the 8883. Never forget the number, never. And that's just my personal opinion and taste, but I really love this Concrete Rough and Tough Leather. I love it. A lot of people say that this looks just exactly like the 1907s, but they don't. Only if you have the two pairs, you can make the comparison between them and you'll see that this, are, this is different. These are more like, sometimes they look like gray, sometimes they look like chocolate, but they don't look like 1907s. So let's take a look at the other set. Oh, by the way, let me tell you that I sold the 1907s, the 877s and the 8849s. The reason is because I got those 10 and a half. So I made the same mistake all people make. When we start buying boots, I got the wrong size. I was buying 10 and a half. And uh, now I know I'm a, I'm a true size 10, so I don't buy them 10 and a half anymore. I'm talking about Red Wings. If we talk about different brands, you know, it's a whole story, a whole different story. Okay, so here we have this limited edition. <laughs> when I got these boots, I didn't even know they were discontinued. I was like, well, a good thing that I have one of the discontinued Red Wing boots. These are the 4606 Ebony Harness Leather. They're more like dark chocolate. I haven't worn this <laughs> in more than a year. I don't even have time to wear my boots, guys. I wear uh, my, my work boots or so sometimes my tennis shoes, my sneakers the whole week. And I only get to wear my boots on Sunday a few hours when I go to, to a party or somewhere. And now it's summer. We don't even wear boots. I mean, at least I don't wear my boots now because it's too hot, right? These are my Iron Rangers 8087 Slate Mule Skinner. Let's say rough out. And these are more like, I don't know, like gray. <laughs> more like gray. They pretty much look like suede, but it's not suede. It's rough out. Suede is different. And right here we have these babies, the Beckman 9011. I worked on these boots probably like, I don't know, seven, eight months ago and I haven't worn them. By the way, I am selling these babies. If someone is interested in this, these are size 10 D. I will leave the link down below so you can watch the video when I worked on these boots. In case you didn't watch that video, I replaced the footbed, the well, I mean everything, and the boots are in excellent condition. Again, I am selling this Beckman 9011 Black Cherry. The Guys, these are in excellent conditions. The reason I'm selling them is because I just want to sell them. That's it. <laughs> okay. All right. Now here we have my third boots. I have to admit that I don't like third good boots. I don't simply because this part bothers me a lot. For some reason, this part is super narrow when it comes to third good. And that's just me. Okay. I know a lot of people be like, oh, those are the best work boots in the world and blah, blah, blah. Well, not to me, guys. Unfortunately, not to me. This is the only pair of Thorough Goods I like. Some people say they are waterproof. They're not waterproof, but water resistant. Now let's take a look to another set. 
Here we have a Thursday Diplomat. These, I didn't like them too much, but I mean, I had bought them already and I was like, well, what can I do? I have to wear them. Thursday Diplomat. Uh, a lot of people love these boots and they say they are super comfortable. They're okay. They're okay for $200. They're okay because uh, someone commented in one of my videos and be like, Thursday. Uh, Thursday boots are way better than, than uh, Grandstands and Truman's. I was like, no way, Jose. And here we have my Wolverine 1000 miles. You guys remember when I got these, they were factory seconds. They came with a big, big hole. Where, uh, right here. They had a big hole and what else? I think just that, yeah. I'm pretty sure you guys watched the video when I worked on these ones. Some people hate them, some people love them. I love them. <laughs> now this one I got in use on eBay. I replaced the whole thing on this one, put a leather footbed because they came with a cardboard or paperboard footbed. And I put a leather, a leather mitts. I put a leather footbed and everything. Put the doctor soles and you know, blah, blah, blah. Chippewas, service boots. These are more like burgundy. And these are my hybrids. The Georgia Chrome Excel boots. <laughs> you guys watched the video, right? When I worked on this, it was actually an experiment. I'm gonna try to leave the link down below so you can watch um, the video when I got these boots and when I worked on them, all right? I haven't worn this yet. <laughs> They're pretty much brand new from this part and brand new from this part. The only used part is the shaft. <laughs> I don't know, what, what should I call these guys? I mean, give me an idea, please. And here we have the four pairs, the last four pairs. Now, these are Grandstone. I have three pairs of Grandstone. So one day I decided to give him a try. And these were my first pair. Okay, so pretty much this is the dark burgundy Kuru leather. All of them have a storm well. It's just a different color. This is brown. This is just natural. The three of them have the commando soles. Uh, Grandstone's commando soles. So I'll put this down here. This is natural chrome Excel leather, or they call them Dune. Dune chrome Excel leather. Beautiful, beautiful. I haven't even worn these guys. <laughs> the deception, right? The deception. Commando soles. And this is the last pair I got because I got this before. This is, I love it. Black. Chrome Excel, another pair. This is called the brass boot. So basically the three pairs of grandstone I have are the same boot, the brass boot, just different different leather and different color. Beautiful, beautiful. I mentioned that I'm gonna uh, resolve this. i replace it by a wedge hole. Yep, I love it. I love wedge holes. Commando soles. And this is the last pair. The last pair and actually my first pair of Truman boots. Now, I, I like the boots, guys. I like the color and everything, uh, but they fit me really good last month. What's happened? Now they fit me too tight. What happened with Drummond's is that they have a sock liner and I, I didn't consider that. So let me tell you this. I thought I was gonna be a size 10 on this one, but no, I made a mistake. If you guys want to buy Drummond's, you have to go half a size up because of the sock liner. You have to guys, you have to guys. And it's not that you can remove the sock liner because that's there to cover the nails and everything. So you have to leave it there. Just consider that guys. Just my two cents, okay? One more thing. I mentioned that I'm selling my Beckmans. So I'm also selling these ones. Brand new guys, I haven't worn them any, not even 20 minutes. So they're brand new, size 10. I would say they are more like nine and a half because of the sock liner yeah so if you guys are nine and a half send me an email revise at gmail.com make me an offer for this and for the beckman's 11 11 90 11 all right i don't want to buy no more boots for the rest of this 2023 but who knows who knows that's pretty much about it guys Thank you so much for watching the videos and thank you so much for watching this particular one thanks for supporting me let me know what your favorite pair. I'll see you on the next one. Banda, mi banda, pues, híjoles. 
no puedo hacer el, no puedo volver a repetir todo lo mismo que dije porque el video se hace bien largo y lo a veces la gente se aburre. Me sugirieron que, que a ver cuando sea un video de las botas que tengo. Bueno, pues ahorita nada más tengo estos pares que son 16. Tuviera, ah, de hecho olvidé mis Downer Bull Run, las dejé en el trabajo, son 17. Y he vendido 3, en total tenía 20 pares de botas que he comprado en dos años y medio. Desde que decidí empezar con las, con las Moto, las, las 88, 83. Maldita la hora en la que empecé. Yo vivía feliz y dichoso sin comprar botas, un consejo la verdad, no se les ocurra comprar el primer par porque van a quedar enganchados, se los juro, se los prometo, <risa> pues nada la banda, muchas gracias por todo, pues ya vieron, un saludo para Gabriel Guzmán nuevamente, un saludo para Memo Rosales, saludos para Rómulos, ni quiero empezar, Rogelio, no de veras que no quiero empezar, yo, la verdad, la neta iba a decir, bueno yo soy del DEFA, ¿eh? la neta, se los agradezco a toda la bandota que siempre me apoya y para un gran amigo que tengo por ahí que siempre está ahí escribiendo sandeces que le dicen, saludos para el Chompiras mi carnal mi carnal del alma saludos, nos vemos en la próxima hora sí de verdad, muchas gracias y como siempre coman frutas y verduras hasta luego <risa>